March 14th. 3.14. Today is Pi Day, and unfortunately, I've been really busy, and this day kind of snuck up on me. So, I didn't have a lot of time to make a fully fleshed out episode about Pi. But, Pi Day is the one day that everyone is cool to talk about maths or literal Pi, all depending on what side of the moon you decide to sleep on. But, <laughs> I digress. I'm happy to say that even with a 24 hour notice, I was able to get something out for pie day. I made a pie for every single one of you. But the flavor is random noise. I hope that you're into that kind of thing. All right, no more procrastinating. Here's my app. You just give it a few digits, say like your birthday or your loved one's birthday or maybe an anniversary, whatever, you name it. And it will give you a completely unique pie just for you. <laughs> It's not the most impressive contribution at Pi Day. However, I think the real fun is when you get into the details of the concepts used for this app. So, here's how it works. Pi is an irrational number, meaning if you calculate it, the decimal value will go on infinitely without ever repeating as far as we know. To this day, no one knows the true value of Pi. In fact, the record for most decimal values calculated is over 1 trillion. But thankfully, rounding to the first couple of digits is accurate enough for most applications. But that's no fun. We can actually have some fun and use this infinite decimal value to our advantage. There's an old saying that goes everything that has ever happened and will happen is somewhere encoded in Pi. And we can test for this to be true thanks to this software that I wrote. After downloading a text file with 1 billion digits calculated, seriously, have any guys ever seen a text file almost a gig in size? It's nuts. This thing barely even loads when you try and open it. If I search for any significant date to me, like my birthday, the day I started YouTube, when I finished my first machine learning project, it can all be found, as well as any address I've ever lived at. And I'm sure if I had more pi digits, I'd even be able to find the latitude and longitude of just about every location I've ever been to. But back to the pi I've made for you. So when you type in this significant number sequence of yours, a search is performed among all the pi digits, and then a location in pi is returned. And this location is then used to generate a quarter of a million pixel values. But because Pi has a relatively random distribution, we unfortunately don't get anything too cool. All we really get is noise in return for an image. But I then use these pixel values to generate an image. I add a simple overlay over that and voila, a one of a kind made random noise Pi for each and every one of you. Happy Pi Day everyone. <laughs> A quick and easy video for Pi Day. I hope you all enjoyed it. This was just some quick fun that I had with Pi. I encourage you all to play around with Pi and see how creative you can get with Pi's infinite sequence of numbers. Think about the cool stuff you can make, hmm? But regardless, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and come follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Come on, come on over. Let's be friends. Let's let's talk. Let's 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 do something. I don't know. Okay, fast, quick, easy, done. I'm going to get back to work on the crazy project I've been working on. Uh, oh, and before I go, the site is already live. It's, uh, what is it? It's um, setstuff.com slash mypyart, I think it is. I think it's mypyart. If, if that's not the link, it's going to be down here on the screen. It's going to be down there regardless. There's the link. It's in also in the description. Just... Go check it out. I'm also going to release the open source. This is for sure not going to be over 100 meg, so this will be up on GitHub. If you want to make any edits or look at the code, whatever. Other than that, I hope to see you all next week. But whatever the case may be, remember to always feed your curiosity. This pie is so good. What the hell? Why don't I eat pie more often?